Louise wants to know, how do I get, basically the question was, how do I get my kid, six years old, to listen to me? She doesn't want to listen. And Louise, I would say this. And, and, and listen, you're calling ask. So I'm going to tell you. Yo, what the fuck are you talking about? In the nicest way. You're the grown up. It, this is what I don't understand. My kid doesn't want to do it. <laughs> well, are you giving your kid the option? It's like, you know, you know, my dad gave me some great advice once. He watched me and we were having dinner with the kids. And I was like, hey, do you want, do you want, do you want? And they were like, no, no, no. And my dad was like, you're giving them too many options. If you give them the options, they're going to run you around like this is a fucking diner. This is what's for dinner. You want to eat it? This, my dad, you don't have to eat it, but you can't go eat something else. And you're going to be hungry tomorrow. But the, you don't get to eat what you, this isn't a diner. This is, I'm going to make food that I know you've eaten before. And if I try something new, you're going to try it. You're going to try it. But I'm not going to make, like, if you don't like grilled cheese, I'm not going to make grilled cheese and make you eat it. But this isn't a diner. So that's the thing, man. Louise, what I would say to you is, if they're like, I don't want to do that, oh, cool. I'll tell you what, go sit, because I'm, I'm not a dude who lay hands on. I'm not a, go sit in your room, give me your phone, give me whatever. Be consistent. Don't be mad. Don't be volatile. Those people can't be trusted, man. If I'm a kid and this big person is out of control, that's fear. And then you're just trying to trying to navigate your life so that big person isn't raging. Stay calm. They can rage if they want, but they have to know that this is a sane human who's like, yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Totally. But you're going to be, yo, dude, we put Jacob in his room for a summer. He walked into the house after his last day of school. He walked into his room and he didn't do shit all summer because I told him something. I didn't get mad. I didn't scream his face. But I was like, if I see you with a vape, dude, and you know what he never did? He never vaped again. You know what else he never did? Any of that shit where I said to him, yeah, listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to yell and scream at you, but here's what happens if you do this. And do you want to sit in your room for three months? And most kids are going to be like, yeah, that doesn't sound great. And this person means what they say. You have to be consistent. One of the reasons that your kid butts heads with you all the time is because they think they can change your mind. Because you, if they know that if they scream enough, you're going to be like, fine. Nah. Let them scream. Let them do whatever the fuck. Let them. You are the grown-up. You have to prove to them that you are the grown-up. And they have to trust that you mean what you say and you're not fucking about. And that doesn't have to come through screaming or laying hands on. That comes from consistency. Doing what you say. And that's it. And not being some fucking... Somebody who flies off the handle that they can't, that are, they don't know how you're going to react. They don't, that, that volatile situation creates liars. It creates liars. It creates people like, well, I don't want that person to fucking, I don't know how they're going to react. Just stay calm. Stay cool. Stay somebody that they can trust to say something to you, but also be somebody who's the grown up in the room and be like, yeah, man, this is your action. Here's your consequence. I, I didn't make the rules. I didn't make the rules. But I, I didn't make you do that. I just told you this is what happens if you do it. And so you did it. This is what happens. One plus one equals two. But like I, I, I think it's, I think whenever I've heard people ask me that question, you know the answer. The answer is be the grown up. That's it. The answer is now, are there some kids who have some chemical problems or some, you know, hey, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm not talking about the outliers. I'm talking about in general, in general, you're going to have some kids butt heads with you, dude. You have to be grown up and be consistent. Period, period, period. And I don't mean your period. Louise. Louise does not get his period, but Lu no, Lu Louise does. Louise does or Louise? Louise doesn't, but Louise does. Well, it's 2024. Louise might. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Louise and Louise might be the same person. So, 
But that's it. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.